TWT. On Friday, 2 March 2018 The World Today reported that Senator Michael Iacash had apologized for threatening to name woman in Bill Shorten's office about whom, she claims, rumors abound. Senator Cash did not apologize, she withdrew the comments. Insiders, on the Insiders episode broadcast on Sunday, March 18, 2018 Ged Kearney was incorrectly described as the first nurse to be elected to the House of Representatives. This was an error. Wendy Fayton and Trish Worth, first elected in 1983 and 1993 respectively, were registered nurses before being elected to the House of Representatives. ABC News, on 12 February 2018, the ABC reported that the Unilodge building in Darwin is partly made of the same flammable aluminium and polyethylene cladding used in the Grenfell Towers in London. The ABC wishes to clarify that that is not correct. The aluminium cladding used on certain parts of the Unilodge building is a different product, which is not considered to pose an immediate risk to safety. The ABC further understands that the relevant cladding is in the process of being replaced for reasons unrelated to fire danger. The ABC withdraws any suggestion that Unilodge has not complied with relevant building codes or is unsafe and apologizes for any suggestion to the contrary ABC News. On 14 February 2018 ABC News Online published two stories on corporate tax rates, a news story examining why many large Australian companies do not pay corporate tax and an analysis of proposed changes to company tax rates. The news report has been updated to add further information and context. The analysis piece did not meet ABC editorial standards and has been removed for further review. ABC News, on the 22nd of January 2018 in a live interview on the ABC News channel, a rest industry super spokesperson stated that if a woman earning $50,000 per year and taking a career break put away $10 per week towards her super during that break, it would be the equivalent of the 9.5% superannuation guarantee and she would therefore be making up the shortfall. The amount required would be closer to $90 per week, assuming a break of one year. Insiders, on an episode of Insiders broadcast on Sunday, February 11, a man convicted of common assault and affray over an incident which led to the death of Brisbane teenager Colonel Miller was described as the perpetrator. This was an error. He was one of two men who attacked Mr. Miller, with the court finding he did not deliver the fatal blow. 7.30 and ABC News Online on 12-13 December, 7.30 reported that some women were suffering serious side effects from long-acting reversible contraceptives, including the Implanon device. The stories presented the case study of a woman claiming certain side effects which are not considered by peer-reviewed science to be recognized side effects of the Implanon and which could not be corroborated. Reference to these side effects have been removed from the stories. ABC News, on 31 January 2018 ABC News reported on a document prepared in April 2009 for the Strategic Priorities and Budget Committee SPBC, warning of critical risks in the rollout of the energy-efficient homes package. In reporting on that document the ABC did not intend to suggest that Mr Rudd recklessly ignored critical risks of the home insulation scheme before the deaths of four young installers or that he lied to the Royal Commission that examined those deaths. The ABC accepts that, as found by the Royal Commission, Mr Rudd was not warned of, and was not aware of critical safety risks at the time. The Royal Commission made no adverse findings against Mr Rudd and there is no suggestion that Mr Rudd lied to the Commission. The ABC unreservedly apologizes to Mr Rudd for any harm or embarrassment caused. ABC News, on 18 January 2018 in a live interview on the ABC News channel, technology consultant and commentator, Paul Buddha asserted that Bill Morrow was aware at the time of accepting the role of CEO of the NBN that the NBN plan was impossible, and that he could not implement it. This statement was Mr. Buddha's opinion and the ABC does not endorse it news. On Monday 15 January 2017 ABC News and the ABC News Channel in the introduction to a story on a campaign against vaccinations in Indonesia described diphtheria as a virus. This was incorrect, it is a bacterial infection. News, on December 8, 2017, ABC News Digital published